Hi everybody, how we doing? Just a brief little video to check in to see how you're doing in all this mess. I mean, I'd like to hear how you're surviving the coronavirus mess. I myself am doing quite well. I mean, I am out of a job. You know, part of the uh, problem with all these precautions that people aren't getting out, so they weren't coming by, and they closed the restaurant I was working at. So, temporarily, I have no income, which can be a little troubling, I guess. But other than that, other than that, I'm doing quite well. I mean, I'm catching up on a lot of sleep, catching up on some reading, and, you know, so maybe that's a silver lining in all this mess. And then maybe, you know, the things like sleep and reading, which I thoroughly enjoy and, and I was missing out on, maybe, maybe something that's also going to be good is a reprioritization of what matters in life. Taking the time to read and not always pursuing everything, I don't know. Maybe I'm being silly, but that might be a good thing. Now, but here's a question that I do have. I mean, and, and this is really, I'm, I'm finding very, very, very puzzling. What's the deal with the toilet paper? Can anybody tell me that? If, if you know what it is, please tell me in the comment section below. I mean, why? I mean, with bread and milk, I kind of sort of understand when those disappear in, in the face of a big storm coming through. So, sort of understand it, but... What's the deal with toilet paper? I mean, is having that much toilet paper going to make you better if you catch the virus? I don't know. Although I did, I did, I did see a, a meme the other day that was quite funny. There's this guy in the doctor's office, and the doctor is saying, Sir, I'm, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but you have the coronavirus. And the guy is stunned. He's shocked. He's in disbelief, saying, But how? How could I possibly have caught the coronavirus? I have over 300 rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> oh, come on, that's funny. Cheesy, but it's funny. <laughs> well, I guess that's, that's about it, really. I just wanted to briefly touch base with you, see how you're doing. So please take a moment and tell me how you're doing in the comments section. Or, you know, go to my website and email me, for I'd love to hear what you're doing and how you're coping with this virus thing and then the shutdowns and, and, and the quarantines. Now, there's something I can offer. I mean, I, I, I'm not in a position to really help very much um, in a material way. You know, I can't offer financial assistance to anybody or I can't offer anybody a job who's not working. I, I can't even really supply food. I've got barely enough for myself. But there's one thing I can do and there's one way I can assist. Please share with me any prayer requests you have, any needs that you must have met. That I can do. I can join you in praying for those things. See, for as we know, you and I, people who already know Jesus, we know that prayer is not a matter of simply muttering words. It's not a baseless striking out, hoping against hope that something good is going to come of it, something good is going to happen. We know that it's not a crutch to gimp by with. We know that it's about connecting with the one who loves us the most, with the one who will see us, the who of who we are, safely through this mess. And we know this no matter what goes on around us, no matter how hungry we might get, no matter if we catch the virus, we do know the one who loves us the most will see us, the who of who we are, safely through. For we know that this place is only temporary. We know that the world, at its best, is a stopping point. We're traveling through. We are going home to Him. And, you know, it's quite the good thing that this world is temporary. See, we know that it is this prayer connection that enables us to thrive in the middle of this chaos, to live in it, and not be trashed by it. See, allow me to join with you in prayer for your requests. Well, let us all, you, me, and the other folks who are watching, be able to join in and assist each other in this way. Let us become unified in Christ in the midst of all this turmoil. Well, I guess that's it for now. Until next time, please love simply, love wisely, and love well. And I'll talk to you soon.